Let's go for a little test drive. That doesn't sound good. How are you? Yes. It's Box Truck Corey. We're here. We're on Kijiji, Craigslist. We gotta find a vehicle to live in. For me, and the two dogs. Anyway, what do we have? Let's see what's on the market. What do we have? Cube vans. That's what they call them around here. Where you're at, might be a box van, might be a box truck. This old one, 1500. Like if you wanted a classic one, I guess, but I want something with uh, good mileage, newer motor. So that's not for me. I've looked at a lot of these cheap ones, 1500, two grand, and they all have so many problems. The ad looks good, but when you drive an hour to go look at them, not so good. You know, 1990, new engine, only 120K on it. Uh, Had safety inspection recently. It looks interesting. We could click on it. Say hi, Dopey. How are you? How are you? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know. Are you ready to help pick out a truck? Which one do you like? Which one do you like? What do they have to say? It looks promising, eh? 165,000. Har har. What you doing, girl? What you doing? She's hiding over there. Are you looking for something to kill? I know. Safety certification less than 500 kilometers ago. Runs and drives good. Newer engine. That's a good possibility. I wonder what it would really need, though, for safety. If it was so perfect, he'd have already safety it, sell it that way. Not a bad view from the apartment backyard here. I just I want to be mobile. I want to travel around. This one, new transmission, needs a few minor repairs. Three grand though. I don't like the needs a few minor repairs. If they put that in the ad, then, you know, for sure. Needs a lot. This one, 3100. 1995 Chev Cube and 6.5 diesel. I want a diesel. I just do. It's not that they're better than gas. I just, I want a diesel. Engine runs great. Just had the e test done. Tires good. Batteries are good. Starts right away. 14 foot box. Let's see. It's got that kind of retro uh, front on it, eh, with the teeth. It could be kind of cool. 95, the older styling. It's a possibility. What do they have to say? 1995 Chev Cube van, 6.5 diesel engine with only 85k on the rebuild. Runs great. Just had e test done. Good batteries. Good start. 14 foot box. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a a good prospect. That could be it. This one here, I marked as a favorite. What do you guys think of that? That one might be good. I want a Ford instead of the Chev. As is, not certified. We know what that means. That means two grand minimum. Needs nothing to be certified. Well, if it needs nothing, why is he not selling it certified? Let's take a look. I don't know. It looks like rust on the rocker panels. It might need bodywork to be certified. If you hunt around though, you can find some good ones. 
four or five grand. Seven three diesel. It needs a battery. The roll up door needs repair. Blah blah blah. I'm sure it needs everything. <coughs> 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 oh, excuse me. Gotta love the sarcoid. Cough all the time. What's this one? Interesting step van. I want a cube van though for stealth. I don't think a step van is as good. That's just too big. Getting up to five grand, but that would really be the top of my budget. Been sitting for two years. Six grand, well, that doesn't sound good. Well, they're just too expensive. Here's a nice Chevy Express van, but that's too expensive too. So that's, uh, that's what we have in the uh, the area. <coughs> if you're looking for a used cube van in Toronto. Hey, Dopey. You gonna say hi? Yeah. Hi, hi, too. <coughs> you ready for life on the road again? Are you? Yeah? Okay, guys. Let's go for a little test drive. See what this sounds like. Oh, dollar thirty point nine at the shell. Diesel's the same. Times four, what is that? Four oh my god. Dollar thirty. 65, 520 a gallon for gas. Man. It's the joy of Canada. An arm and a leg, maybe more. Fill up your fuel tank. People say that the seven liter engines, uh, they, you know, they're so great, they love them, but it's a lot more displacement. That's more fuel burned. That's more, more money at the pump every day. I want lower displacement, more aerodynamics. Talked to a mechanic that just replaced the engine in one of these. Got the whole engine out all by himself in less than a day. Apparently the front end just pulls off and you slide the engine right out the front. He said it's easy. Parts and that kind of thing for a 97 are going to be going to be easy to come by. It's got these little uh, signs that, you know, if I have Dopey with me and, you know, she farts a lot or something, you know, I could maybe put out the appropriate sign. wonder if there's like a nuclear waste one in here. They're my favorite. Maybe not. Oh well. Can't buy the truck then if it doesn't have a nuclear waste sign. The best thing about this era, the late 1990s, is the emissions are really easy to pass. There's some computers in it, but really not much, you know? It's, uh, it's a great era. Simple. Simple design, but still a little fuel efficient. None of these 1970s, 1980s fuel hogs. They just burn too much. I need some computer control. 
So the year is just right. The new engine, new tranny, new tires, new brakes, certified commercial sticker are all good things. Not much rust, just that one quarter panel, or the one, uh, not quarter panel, the uh, under the door there on the passenger side. Tell me what you think. What are your thoughts? Is this the one? Four grand. Good price. Cheaper than you could ever get a van for. Around Toronto here, vans are really expensive. This type of a truck is much cheaper, especially the older ones, because nobody wants them. The, you know, the, the companies, they all buy new ones. You know, even U-Haul, when they sell theirs, they're only a few years old, and they're still too expensive for me, but... An old one like this that's been, you know, fixed up with new engine, new tranny. Might be the ticket. Might be the way to go. Well, let's see if we can dicker him down a bit on price.